We're learning about yet another case at the historic Stonewall Monument Park. Volunteers found nearly 70 flags damaged, and as Fox 5's Ashley Rodriguez shows us, they believe it was a targeted attack of hate. Steven Menendez picks up broken pride flags from the ground of the Stonewall National Monument. As a park volunteer, it's his job to maintain the 250 flags flying around the park's perimeter. Three weeks into Pride Month, Sunday morning, he was not expecting to find a fourth of the flags snapped in half. It's just disappointing to come in and see it again. This is three times over seven days. When we arrived, police were on scene, but there's little they can do other than to check if neighboring shops have cameras. Park volunteers are relying on the existence of only one camera guarding the front of the park, and they argue the city needs to put up more. That way, if people choose to vandalize the park, they know they're being watched. We'll always have that reminder that there will continue to be those who don't support LGBTQ rights. It's upsetting, sad, and concerning that we have to see it in one of the hearts of where our rights was born and continues to grow. It's not not yet clear if this was the work of the drunk and disorderly or a targeted effort to vandalize a historic gay monument. But park goers observing Menendez replacing the flags argued about how to react. I feel like as a transgender that this is too much in your face. I want an American flag. This is America. This isn't LGBT countries. The divisiveness among passerby Sunday, just a small example of the underlying reason behind now a third instance of vandalism at Stonewall Monument. We have so much anger and hatred in the air right now. We really need to reverse that and replace it with love, compassion, and acceptance. Even if police can get their hands on video, there's no guarantee that they're going to be able to ID whoever did this. They're going to continue to investigate, and we will keep you updated. In Greenwich Village, Ashley Rodriguez, Fox 5 News.